Good day, students. You are welcome to today's lesson. I am Mr. Idowu Olajide Tafik. I will be your English language teacher on this program. The topic for today's lesson is phrasal verbs. Let me say it again, phrasal verbs. Our objectives for the day are as follows. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to 1. Define phrasal verbs 2. Understand the meanings of phrasal verbs 3. Identify phrasal verbs in sentences 4. Give good examples of phrasal verbs and 5. Use phrasal verbs correctly in sentences. Now, how do we define phrasal verbs? They are compound words which is a combination of a verb and preposition or a verb and its particle to form a single semantic unit. Students, please note that phrasal verbs may also appear as idioms. That means some phrasal verbs can be used as idioms. Note that phrasal verbs can either be separable or inseparable separable it means where an object appears between the verb and its particle let us see these two examples give back he gave me back my phone in this example there's a word which is me in between give and back act out Brian asked Judy out to dinner. Also, there's a word between asked and out, and the word is Judy. Inseparable. It means the verb is not separated from its particle, e.g., asked around. I asked around, but nobody had seen the wallet. Now, there's no word between asked and the around allow for you must allow for damages during production these two examples are inseparable phrasal verbs now let us see the meanings of these following phrasal verbs and i'll give you good examples so that you'll be able to understand them the first one is ask in it means to invite someone into the room or house. E.g., I asked the guests in and offered them seats. Asked for. It means to request, to demand. E.g., I asked for the principal of the college. Ask out. It means to invite somebody to go out with you, especially as a way of starting a romantic relationship. E.g. is too shy to ask her out. Ask after. To know how somebody is or what they are doing. E.g. he always ask after you in letters. Call at. It means to visit. E.g. I called at my friend yesterday. Call for. It means ask someone to give an explanation. E.g., the principal called him for an explanation. Call off. It means to cancel something. E.g., the workers called off the strike. Call up. This means to summon for a military service or telephone call. E.g., the government called up the young men to join the army. Do away with. This means to abolish, e.g., we must do away with dowry system in marriages. Do without, it means to manage in the absence of, e.g., I can do without comfort. Fall back, it means to withdraw, to retreat, e.g., when I went to my friend for help, he fell back. Fall in with. It means to accept, agree with plans. E.g., I fell in with my friend 
on the issue. Now, students, I'm going to stop here briefly and I'll continue in the next section. Students, you are welcome to the second part of today's lesson. The topic remains phrasal verbs. Now I have taught you some phrasal verbs. Let me continue with the following. Fall out. It means to leave the line. To quarrel. E.g. He fell out with his wife. Fall off. It means to decrease in quality or quantity. For example, the standard of education is falling off in colleges and universities. Get away. It means to escape, to be free to leave. It can also mean to have a holiday or vacation. E.g., they try to get away from the police cell. Get back. It means to return home or to recover. E.g., please wait here. I will get back soon. Get over. It means to recover from illness. It can also mean to return to usual state of happiness. E.g., she got over her difficulties and she's now a happy mother of two children. Get through to be successful in an examination. E.g., I got through the examination with distinction. Hand down to be quit or pass on. E.g., the matter of leadership has been handed down to us from generation to generation. Hand out. This can mean to distribute. E.g., could you hand these books out, please? Hand over to surrender authority. For example, he handed over the charge to the newly elected chairman. Hang around or about to loiter or wait. E.g., why do you hang around my house? Keep off to avoid or prevent. It can also mean not to touch. E.g., they lit the fire to keep off wild animals. Keep on to continue. E.g., keep on until you get to the school. Keep out. It means to prevent from entering, to stay outside. For example, keep that dog out of my house. Let down, to fail to help, to disappoint. E.g., my friend always let me down in everything. Let off, to leave, not to punish. The judge let the thief off the hook. Let out, to come to an end. Time for people to leave, e.g. the movie has just let out. Make up for, to compensate, to do something that corrects a bad situation, e.g. after all the delays, we were anxious to make up for lost time. Make of, to hurry away in order to escape, e.g. the thief made off from the cell at the police station. Make out. This means to discover the meaning. It can also mean to understand. E.g., she cannot make out the poetry of Shelley. Make up. This simply means to come to a decision. It can also mean to end a quarrel, or to invent, or to put together. E.g., they made up their quarrel and became friends. Pull down, to demolish, to make somebody less happy healthy or unsuccessful, e.g., the government decided to pull down the building, pull off, to leave the road in order to stop for a short time. It can also mean to succeed, e.g., the electronic company pulled off the project and earned huge profit, pulled through to get better after a serious illness or oppression, e.g., she pulled through her illness completely. Pull up. It means to stop. They pulled up at the traffic lights. Round up. To find and gather together people, animals, or things. It can also mean to arrest or capture. E.g., the police rounded up a group of armed robbers. Round off. To finish an activity in a good or suitable way. E.g., she rounded off the tour with concert. Students, I'm going to stop here briefly so that when I come back, the next aspect of our lesson, which is phrasal verb, I will give you more meanings and more examples of phrasal verbs. Thank you.
students you are welcome to the last part of today's lesson now let me continue with the following phrasal verbs round on it means to speak angrily to somebody it can also mean to criticize or attack e.g he rounded on the journalist calling him a vulture run after to pursue to have a romantic relationship e.g the police ran after the prisoner that means this one means to pursue run away this simply means to flee to desert for example the boy ran away from whom run down it means to lose power or stop working it can also mean to criticize e.g the battery has run down run into this simply means to meet by chance it can also mean to collide with for example guess who i ran into today set in it means to begin and sing like to continue e.g the spring sets in and all the trees are full of flowers set out this means to begin a journey for example we set off on our journey in the morning set up to achieve to establish to start a new business it can also mean to trick e.g the Lagos state government decided to set up a small scale industry for women take after to resemble e.g bukola takes after her mother take back it can mean to return or to withdraw or to accept e.g she decided to marry me but she took her decision back in this one it means the person which drew take down to write it can also mean to remove a structure i told her to take down my dictation and type it neatly take over this simply means to control it can also mean to become bigger it can also mean to replace also you can use as to mean to gain control e.g governor sonwolu took over the mantle of leadership in legal state students i've been able to teach you many of these phrasal verbs i will advise you to look for more on your own and learn how to understand and how to use phrasal verbs now as your classwork please check the following state the meaning of the following phrasal verbs state the meanings of the following phrasal verbs one take in two send for three run away with four look ahead and five get away with also student i'll give you this assignment please do it on your own and you'll be able to understand phrasal verbs correctly assignment use the following phrasal verbs in sentences one run into two call off three give back four call on and five pick up students have come to the end of today's lesson i would advise you to please read more on phrasal verbs thank you god bless you